Good morning. I pray today God will richly bless you. I pray you're waking up today and ready to start another day serving the Lord, to share with excitement the love of God, to think about his soon return, to take us home, to be with him. And I pray today that you're ready for that should it occur today. I want to talk to you today from Matthew chapter 18 and verse 10. Uh, it says, Take heed that ye despise not one of these little ones, for I say unto you, that in heaven their angels do always behold the face of my Father, which is in heaven. These words are in red. So this is Jesus talking about the little ones and, and talking about his children and that in heaven their angels. So he's saying that their angels. What I take that to mean is you and I, you have an angel that watches over you. I've got one that watches over me. And the Bible in the book of Psalms even talks about that the angels are encamped around those who love him. And I truly believe that today. It said here, Scripture teaches that God takes care of his faithful by means of angels. And folks, I believe today that angels exist. They're real. And sometimes I believe we've met angels and just don't know it. The Bible says, beware, lest you attend, you know, entertain angels unaware. And uh, we recently, Angie and myself, had a, I think we did that. We entertained an angel. And uh, because of what they did, for, she did for us on our trip and how she worked out a situation that we had been told was beyond hope. We, it was no way it could work out. And she got on the phone, talked with the company that we had been dealing with and convinced them to give us back our tickets so we could fly home from overseas. Folks, that, that company had already told us that that was no way possible short of somebody dying in our family. But prayers were prayed and lifted up to heaven on our behalf, this woman out of nowhere shows up and works out the problem to where we got our tickets back at no extra charge and flew home. Folks, I believe with all my heart, she was an angel sent by God to rectify that situation. So today, around us today, I truly believe there's angels. Because you see, around us is a spiritual warfare going on that we know nothing about. And I believe that there's angels fighting battles for you and I that we can't see to keep us safe, to watch over us. And that's what the Bible is talking about. He says here that in heaven, their angels do always behold the face of my Father, which is in heaven. I believe they're telling and talking to God on our behalf. The angels today are real. And I believe today at times they entertain. Uh, we entertain them. You know, when Abraham was there sitting out of his tent, there was angels that stopped and talked to him. One of them, they really believe is the son of God. It was Jesus. They were talking to Abraham about what they were going to do. Sit down and ate lunch with him. And I believe today, we don't know all the time when we do meet one or see one. So today, we can rest assured we have angels helping us out and we have nothing at all to fear because God has our best interests at heart. God always has his eyes on us. He knows what's going on around us. He knows what we need. So folks today, we can walk in confidence and, and we can go knowing that God is with us. Angels are watching over us and they're going to help us get through this time we have here on earth until we make it home to glory. Thank you, Lord, today for these angels that you send our way. These angels that are all around us, keeping us safe, watching over us, protecting us. And Lord, fighting battles for us that we never see. But Lord, we know they're there because your word says they are. Thank you, Lord, for that today that you do for us in so many ways. And I pray today that we'll be found working for you and sharing you with put those that we come in contact with. Lord, I pray and ask these things today and thank your precious name for all that you do. Amen and amen. I pray today God will richly bless you. And I pray let's go out and share him today with somebody that needs to know about Jesus Christ. God bless you.